Hello and welcome to this tutorial which will work in both Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer. Now it's to just have making this text here that looks like a sort of a foil that's been scrunched up a bit and it's got a few creases in it and whatever you like that. Um, or something similar would be this one here. We've got different you know, you can have different effects using whichever sort of glitter that you use. Now, this came about from this tutorial, which is for Affinity Photo, and it's done by Sunwings Studio, and I'll add a link to this in the description for this video. But the only problem with this is, it, it, you know, it's a good video, but to get this effect, they used Perlin Noise, and light filter which means it can't be used in Affinity Designer if you've only got the one program um, because they they use the purling noise to make the glitter effect and the light to sort of get the different sort of dark at this end and a bit light at that end um, so I've done this sort of process to show two different ways to do this in either a photo or designer. Um, one way is using a pre-made glitter image which this is from Pixabay which I will again add a link to. Or you can use a style. The one I'm going to use is made by Angela Evans or Angela H Evans if I get it correct and or you can make your own style it's um, up to you but this is the one I'm going to be using in this video there's also some gradients I'm going to use again I'll add a link to this I'm going to be using the custom gradient which you can download but there is another set of gradients here that you can download as well and the font I'm going to use is metal ink and you got this from thefont.com and again I'll add a link to this so all of these will be linked in the description of this video so you can use them or not I will leave that up to you so let me just reset a few things and I'll be back right okay I've reset things um, I'm gonna be doing this in designer but like I said you can do this in photo as well you know the menus might be slightly different but basically it would be the same um, and I've opened up this document already. This is just an A4 um, landscape, but you can do whatever size that you want for your particular project. And the other file I've got open is the glitter image from pixabay.com. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just add a rectangle for the background, and then I'm going to pick a darkish grey colour down there I think in fact what I will do is I'll change this to yeah no I'll leave that, that colour as it is um, you can also do it from the fill button up here which probably might be better actually because you've got the opacity slider here and if you click on this dot next to the word opacity you'll change that to the noise slider and I want to add some noise so I'll add a bit of noise about there and then you can just keep clicking on that to change between opacity or noise so I've got my background with the noise added and then I'm just going to add some text so let's come down to the artistic text and select the font that I want which is metal ink you can use whichever font you want um, this is just the one that, that I quite like so let's go with if 
fun with text. And let's just bug it a few numbers. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna center those and then just make it a bit bigger and then center it on the page or the document so there we have the text so next thing I want to do is we're gonna I'm gonna do both versions within the same project but you wouldn't you yourself wouldn't necessarily use both versions you would just use either one or the other be it the picture or the style so the first thing I'm going to do is to open the glitter image which I already have done here and I'm going to just right click that copy it come back to my project and then edit and paste this in now I just need to resize this so it's about the same size of the as the text about there and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click and drag this down so it comes into and becomes a child of the text you have a blue line that will come across to just the edge of the icon for the text and when you get that blue line you can let go of the mouse and that text will now be sort of covered with the image which in this case is the glitter now you can still resize this because I'm not 100% really a big fan of these big black dots that are here so I'm just going to resize this so I can get rid of a lot of those Oops. I'm not going to get rid of all of them obviously still got a couple but most of them are gone so I'm happy with that as it is like that so that is how you would get the glitter into the text using an image right I'm going to turn that off for a second and what I'm going to do now is do the other way of getting the glitter in which is using a style and for this I'm going to again use the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle which is just you know just a bit bigger than the text that we got here so that covers that up and then come to the styles tab and then go to your glitter styles so you got all sorts of different ones here which is you know that Angela has made and you can have them in all sorts of different colors I mean you don't have to stick with you know a gold foil or a silver foil there's all sorts of different colors here um, it's just a case of sport for choice which one you go for um, let's try that one number 51 so I can now let me just come back to the layers so much like before I'm gonna click and drag this down into the text so you now have the glittery text either using the rectangle with a style in it or with an image of glitter so you have either options to making the actual foil uh, the glitter effect now especially the, like this one here like it's, it's all one basic color so if you want a bit of sort of extra texture and maybe recreate the lighting effect that was in the original video I'm going to add a gradient um, above this so what I'm going to need is another box so let me just again come above highlight the text and 
I'm going to draw yes, another box above that. And this time I'm going to use the gradient, which is this one here. And so you've got plenty of different gradients you could use, sort of get different effects. And if you're going for a sort of a goldy glitter like I am, probably best to go with a, a gradient that is of that similar colour. Um, which one am I going for? I think I'll go for that one there, which is number 67. Let's see what that looks like. So again, I will click and drag this down into the text layer but it is above the glitter layers and then it's just a case of changing the blend mode of this to get the effect that you want now I found that soft light works quite well with some um, effects as does um, color burn so as you get you can see you get the sort of darker areas and lighter areas from that gradient and that is on the styles one if I turn the styles one off that's what that would look like on the image glitter which isn't so good so for that one maybe the soft light might have been the better option so you know you're changing the effect of that be it the image or the style version that you using so if I come back to color burn and we're using the styles layer I mean you can always reduce the opacity or if you want to you could even duplicate that and get a, a stronger effect and maybe reduce the opacity on the second layer just so you're getting a different lighting effect on that foil but I'll turn that one off I'll just stick with the one um, gradient so there you have the different versions that you can use be it using a style or an image of glitter and then add a gradient on top to get the different shades and lighting you can even make your own gradients so now what we need is some sort of cracks in the foil effect so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a pixel layer which is you got two you don't want add layer on add pixel layer above the text and for this I'm going to change into the pixel persona on designer on obviously in photo you wouldn't have to because it's already pixel based and then we just need the brush and the brush in designer is in textures and I believe can't remember which one it was now. Um, no, it's not that one. Our oh, grunge four is what it is in the textures, and you can see it's like this crack, sort of brush tip. I can't remember. I believe it is pretty similar in photo, but it should be somewhere in photo, and. Then we just need a colour that is black and, you, and it's just a case of painting over the text and you can resize it and get bigger cracks. Now what I should have done first was again drag this layer down and into the text group so it is above all the others and so it's not affecting the background and you know just keep changing the size to 
you get different size cracks and put in as many or as little as you think it needs so I'll leave that like that for now so what we're going to do now is to add some effects to this so making sure that that is the layer that is highlighted in fact we can even come back to the draw persona and then you just click on FX icon here to open up the effects panel now the first thing I'm going to do is outer shadow so I'll put a tick in outer shadow click on the word to give me the options and I'm going to do a radius of 19 now any of these settings that I'm going to say I mean they're just my personal taste you may want to go for you know something a bit less or a bit more um, the offset I'm going to go with 2 and intensity I'm going to go with 26 the next one I'm going to go for is 3D so I'll put a tick into 3D click on the options and the radius I'm going to put this right up to 100 and the shininess I'm going to reduce this down to 20, 20 somewhere between 22 and 20 let's try 22 and the last option is bevel and emboss so put a tick on that, select the words to get me the options. I'm going to leave the type on pillow and I'm just going to increase the radius to some 7 or 8. I've got it on 7.7 .7 at the moment. So I can close that down. So as you can see we've got that sort of let me zoom in I've well, got this sort of scrunched foil effect here now if you think that is too dark you can always change the colour of the text a bit I mean you could always come for a, a slightly lighter grey if you want to just tone that down a little bit so which one we got this is on the um, styles one so if I turn that off and turn on the glitter image and as you can see that's not looking as good with the glitter image possibly because the blend mode of this one should be back on to um, soft light for the image and it was color burn for the style so either one you may have to change the blend mode for the gradient to suit whichever version of the glitter that you're going to be using hopefully that will make sense and hopefully you have learned something from this so thank you for watching and goodbye.